and Carl, is the mixture heated up to 80 degrees C? Of course it is, don't worry. Are you sure you have all the clay in there with the resin? Of course I do. What? This isn't my first project, you know. Well, I was kind of wrong. It was my first project. At least my first solo project, making an epoxy putty. I was so excited I had everything all ready to go. I had the drill press turned up to 1400 RPM, the high-speed dispersion blade firmly clamped in. I had my mixing pot set gently on the mixing vessel, and then I had the thing lowered, the shaft lowered into the mixture resin, and then I turned it on. I held on to it because I hadn't been thinking. I didn't secure it enough. It's going well. Suddenly, it jerks. I think nothing of it, so I readjust my grip, getting ready for in case it happens again. And it does happen again. Only this time it jerks with such force that I'm not expecting it, and it pulls my hand up towards the blade. Now, normally I would be thinking, okay, just pull that. But wearing loose fitting latex gloves, the glove wrapped around the edge of the shaft, I can see time just slowing in front of me as my glove begins to stretch, and I'm thinking, five, five, five as I pull my hand away from that spinning shaft. Time stops yet again, and then I feel my hand hit my chest. I don't even bother to look, I just reach up and turn off the drill press, my legs shaking, my arms barely moving, just from the sheer force of which I'm holding the mixing vessel. Jesse comes out from the lab, Carl, are you okay? Fine, just this is science happening. Perhaps you should sit down and reread how to operate this. Now, you may be thinking, why? Why would you choose this to be your favorite co-op experience? You almost lose your fingers. What makes this good? Well, the fact that I was doing what I wanted to actually made it my best co-op experience. First off, I started off by making my own solo project, which is what I want to go into, development of biopharmaceuticals. And I mean, epoxy resins aren't exactly pharmaceuticals, but the development aspect is there and I was allowed to experiment with it. Uh, for example, the one I was given was an epoxy formula from 1960 something, and I had to verify that the formula still worked. Well, I was doing that and it seemed to work well enough, but I didn't quite read all of the details. So something went wrong and I would often have to troubleshoot that, and needless to say, troubleshooting by counting to five is a good way to do that. The second thing is, what was the lab aspect like? It was a place I felt like I belonged. I was a member of the lab family, and since there were only 15 people through the entire facility, it was pretty easy to become part of the family there. And as with any type of family, you do get teased a lot. Just ask Kyle, Carl, Hal, Calvin, Jeff, Tim, and Steve. They'll all tell you the same. But the best part of being part of that family is, even if your own family's not nearby, they're willing to take you in for example, living in Maryland, some 700 miles away from where I was, especially over Christmas break, it gets kind of lonely. Needless to say, I was slightly surprised when the owner of the company comes down to my desk and taps me on the shoulder and is like, Hey Kyle, are you going home for Christmas? No. Would you like to come to our house for Christmas? Yes. I had no idea what to say, but mutter out a yes. And that was one of the best things I've ever done there. Just the feeling of being welcomed by even the highest level of management to your lab mates is one of the best feelings. And then finally, it gave me awareness as to what I'm doing. Here in Drexel, when you're doing labs, often they're in a controlled state of chaos. If something goes wrong, it's not going to be so bad that things do go wrong. However, in the real world, if things go wrong, they'll go wrong pretty bad pretty fast, and it's not always going to be all right. But needless to say, it's a good thing to be able to feel somewhere you belong uh, be able to do what you want to, such as developing resins, and always know the importance of counting to five.